And so they all kind of work, you know, together in concert. So the Marvel property was one of your original ideas when you were growing up. Oh, uh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I created a character called the Blue Marvel, and uh, he's part of the Ultimates now. And I created that character, at least in part, uh, when I was a kid. So it was kind of a dream come true to have one of your comic creations, you know, come to life and now be part of the Marvel Universe. So that was cool. Happy New Year, everybody. I wish you all a great 2021 to come. You and your families wish you health. And um, let's, uh, let's hope that this vaccine puts an end to the travesty that was 2020. As you can guess, Adam, the Blue Marvel, all my Blue Marvels came in. Well, not all, but uh, 20 Blue Marvels are going to be going in here. They're coming from Mr. Kendra and CGC. Um, they're going to be going into this BCW container, brand new. And, um, yeah, we're going to open them in a second. Ben Morris interviewed Mr. Kevin Grievous. In May of 2020, and didn't see this interview. I was actually just looking for uh, a video interview by him that I had seen in the past, but I can't find it where he talks about how strong the Blue Marvel is, and he says that he's um, stronger than Superman and weaker than Thor. Uh, I wanted to show you guys that interview, but I couldn't find it. I think they took it down. Wonder if DC made a fuss about it to him. But, um, so, Mr. Moore's asked him a lot of questions here, and one of them is, um, who your favorite characters growing up as a kid? He said, and he has said this in various interviews, the Fantastic Four, one and two, and he can't distinguish one from two, but a close number three was Thor and the Avengers, his favorite creators, the top two, of course, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. You know, Gene Colan is there and Mr. Marv Wolfman. A lot of these creators, right, they created also uh, black characters, you know. Characters like, um, of course, the Black Panther, Blade, um, the Falcon, you know. Uh, now, he also asked them, like, growing up, right, um... How was your experience like, pretty much, as 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 a teenager growing up with 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 comics? And then this is his answer, right? As a kid, there weren't many characters that looked like me, meaning black superheroes. He explains, and even as a kid, there were certain things about the ones that did that kind of bothered me. They were pretty stereotypical. Many of Marvel's black superheroes were based on previously existing white characters, with the exception of Storm and Monica Rambeau. They, they weren't very powerful. I was always drawn to the more powerful characters whose abilities, abilities left you in awe. And none of the popular mainstream black superheroes were actually created by black writers. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That didn't diminish their popularity or worth as characters. But I did feel that after almost 60 years of existence, it was time for a change. And you know what? This was the change. That was the change. Now, before the Black Marvel came out, right? It's not that there weren't black characters before that were created by by uh, minorities. You know, uh, in uh, Blue Marvel, Blue Marvel came out in two thousand nine, right? Um, in two thousand three, there was a character created by Pedro Morales, and he was a black Captain America. However. He was the black Captain America. Um, I try it was the the comic was called I think it was called Truth. Didn't get into it, and only because it was black Captain America. It was you know 
it's like what he's talking about, right? A lot of these characters that they created, these guys created, they were based on other characters. I'll give you an example right now. This is one. Now, this is a book that I just bought off of Strictly uh, Strictly's auction. Um, started doing the uh, online auctions again. Uh, only I'm only going to do them from people that I trust, and Strictly Strictly's always been a class guy to me. So that book and this book, and I bought these from Justin, well packaged, and you know what? The guy is phenomenal. Uh, both of these books are going to be going pre-screen. But what is... Why did I buy them? I didn't buy them from me. These are not going in the PC. I don't even like the character. Not really. I mean, I don't know much about her except that... She's going to be taken over as Ironheart. So, um, but it's based on who? It's based on Iron Man. I don't personally like stuff like that you know i don't like a character based on another like i know that um i do like jessica cruz and she's based on the green lantern however there are many a green lanterns right um i um i've liked other green lanterns like guy gardner before you know, he was a really funny character that I used to like reading in the past. Liked it that Batman uh, pretty much knocked his ass out in uh, Justice League International Number Seven. You know, I, 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 I am drawn to certain characteristics of certain characters. Now, that's not to say. That I'm not I'm not gonna end up liking this character, not to say that at all, right, Riri Williams. But at the moment, I don't care much for her, and I bought these books only to flip. You know, this guy right here though is not a flip character to me. That's an original character created, and I mean it's so right, man. He's so right that. Yeah, it doesn't mean just because a uh, black character is created by a white writer doesn't mean that it's a negative thing. It doesn't mean it's negative. But there's a little thing there, and I, I have to admit, and I have to agree with him, that, yeah, I kind of root for him, man. I root for this guy. I root for him to succeed, and I want to. I want him to see this guy right there in a film before he uh before he dies man the guy is he deserves that you know a lot of times these characters they're based on on the writers themselves you know i got a feeling that there's a little bit of thanos and jim starlin i do believe that there is a little bit of him in that you know there's a little bit of um blue marvel in kevin grievous as a matter of fact, the guy could have actually been a scientist. He studied microbiology uh, in college and uh, genetic engineering, believe it or not. And, um, you know, so, and a lot of the things that he talks about are true also. I mean, Luke Cage, he was so stereotypical. Even the way that he talked in comics back in the day was stereotypical. Jive brother, you know, just read his books you know, from back then in the 70s, and, um, yeah, I, it was, it was just a different take, where you get a guy like this, that is as strong as the strongest characters out there, you know, energy manipulation, like, like, like other characters out there, but then the brain of a Reed Richards as well, you know, it's just something that was a novel idea it was something that was um that was unique in a character and that's what it drew me to him it drew me to him i'm only speaking for myself right um but um but yeah i want to see him in film there's no doubt about it i want to see him in film and um and 
I mean, we'll see what happens. So, I want to show you guys some other stuff here. Man, one day maybe I can become an influencer, but look at that. I, I made this video nine months ago. 156 views up to today. Yeah. I think some of you guys probably watch these multiple times too. But, uh, yeah, nobody, nobody cares about the spec collector. April 9th, 2020. Nine months ago. Blue Marvel number one, 9.8s were at 92 in the CGC census. 78 for the 9.6s. They were a total of 249, not even 250. 249 graded. Blue Marvel at the time was going for right around $500. If you were lucky, you can get it for $450. That was in April of 2020. Fast forward to today. Now we're in January 2021. There are 179 9.8s. A total 514 graded. More than double have been submitted into CGC. And that includes my 20, guys. That includes my 20. So, as you can see, look, it's 158 9.6s. Uh, it is a pretty decent clip. At, uh, say, percentages, 179 of 514. Uh, not what you would expect for something that's modern. There's, there's much better percentages uh, that I've seen for 9.8s for something that's from 2009. And that's and the reason is because of how these books were handled, and there's not too many of them. There's just not too many of them out there. In Comic Cron, Blue Marvel number one. Where are we at here? Blue Marvel number one had a print run of seventeen thousand three hundred and five, and. I've said this before, I think that number is much, much lower because I've seen it myself. I've seen some of them be destroyed myself. All right, I'm going to compare this to a different book. And maybe it doesn't deserve this comparison, guys. Maybe it doesn't. And it doesn't, definitely doesn't right now. Right now it doesn't. But this book was sitting nowhere for quite a while. Ultimate Fallout number four. 2011 it has three things going for it one of course it's it's a spider-man book right um that's one two it's the fact that they decided to create something out of it an animated film and it hit it hit big I think a lot of the reason why it hit is because Disney knows what they're doing with their films, especially animated. They brought in Peter Parker into that film, and the character of Miles Morales was accepted by everybody, not just minorities. He was accepted by everybody. You know, um, it, he's not considered a black or Latino character. He is Spider Man. But. Ironically, that's the reason number three why he's successful is because he is a minority and because minorities have um, have supported this guy. You know, he they we've liked them. Even myself, who I, I'm a Spider Man purist, and I've said it before, I wasn't a fan, but I'm a fan now, and I want that newsstand badly, man. I will have that newsstand. And I tried, I, as you know, I've tried getting my hands on one and failed, unfortunately. But I'm going to compare Blue Marvel to this. Why? I'm going to compare them because nothing has been created on Blue Marvel yet. And I'm very curious on what's going to happen when Mo Blue Marvel does hit. Now, this is a character based on an established character, Spider-Man, on an established IP, right? And it was a minority that was put in that role. Blue Marvel is 
an original. He's not copying anybody. That's him. It's his own own character. It's an original character. And I just think that he has a much um, um, a much more unique origin. And, and I just want to see how the public reacts to it. And if, if they react to him the way that they reacted to Morales or even close to it, like... Um, I think there's going to be a lot of su success for Mr. Kevin Grievous. Blue, uh, the uh, b -b -b ultimate fallout. There are 2,555, 9.8s on that book. A total of 8,636 graded. Just in 9.8s alone, it's five times what the Blue Marvel complete CGC senses is. And why is that? Because the Blue Marvel has so much less in production in the print run, right? The print run of Ultimate Fallout number four is 73,764. I mean, you're talking about from 17,300. I mean, that is one minuscule print run for the Blue Marvel. You know, uh, I just definitely, instead of comparing it to the regular cover A, I'm going to compare it to the variant edition. This is the Dejerjevic cover. We're talking about, there is 158 now Dejerjeviks in 9.8. There are more Dejerjeviks graded in the senses than there are Blue Marvels in total. 500 Blue Marvels, 652 Dejerjevic variants. Yeah, guys, I am comparing that book to Ultimate Fallout. Right now, like I said, I don't know that, uh, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not fair to compare it like that. But uh, let's see where that takes us in the future. Um, when you go to Blue Marvel number two, the print run drops a full five, more than 5,000 to 12,159. When you go to number three, it drops even more. To 10,793 for Blue Marvel number three. When you go to number four, number four and number five are both under 10,000 in print. 9703 for number four and for number five are 9456. And the reason was because it wasn't selling, guys. It was not selling. At the time, um, you know, I'm so glad that I got what I got back then, you know. Um, but let's go to open this up, all right? Let's go to open these up. All right, so these are BCW uh, container boxes. It's for graded comics. I actually like buying these. I, I actually buy them for um, not just for the graded comics, but also for the regular comics as well. I don't get paid anything by them. They don't know who I am, just like everybody else. I mean, 156 views on that Blue Marvel, and you think they know who I am? No, they don't know who the hell I am. Um, but I like their product, and I like the fact that they're stackables, and um, you can fit 25 of these in there. So, um, yeah, Blue Marvels are going in there. This is it. Let's open this baby up. All right, guys. <laughs> this is exciting. I got to tell you, it's really exciting to open this thing. All right. I did not look at the grades. However, 20 Blue Marvels are going to be in here. Most of them that I sent to Mr. Kendra are going to be projects. They're going to be projects. And I knew they were going to... So. 
if you guys remember seeing the video that I put up when I found the, the 30 of them that I purchased, right? Um, you're going to notice that there was blunt damage on the corners, right? On most of them. Those are the ones that I sent him. I've seen this guy do miracles on books specifically. I mean, I can name a few, but one that stands out, it's the Marvel Superheroes, number 20, uh, the original Doctor Doom story, the first story uh, solo from Doctor Doom. He made that in 8.5. I couldn't believe that. You know, that should have been probably a 6.5 or 6 even. Um, so I sent them those. The best 10 I sent to CGC and CCS, so I should have much better results on those. I can't say I'm expecting four 9.8s, but I think he can get me four 9.8s. That was what I'm, I was hoping that he can get me. I don't know that he can get me those, but um, maybe I can get them because the, um, the blunt damage... On most of those books did not break color so if that get if those get pressed out really well maybe I can get the 9.8 on them let's go one by one five of the books were um, I think um, two Thor's 337 and 338 and then uh, blue marble I think two and three or whatever 9.6 is the first one. Okay, so I want to take this out. I'm going to see if I can see. The blunt damage was on this corner, right? Look at that, man. The freaking guy pressed it out. I'm telling you, all of these had a type of damage on it. But they pressed out beautifully. There it is right there, too. So you see, I don't believe that this can get a 9.8. But that's enough right there to make that a 9.6. Have I seen 9.8 like that? <laughs> Actually, I have seen 9.8s like that. That is one beautiful book. Imagine I didn't. Man, if I would have kept these books in 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 tip top condition man if i would have just bagged and boarded them that's all they needed man a bag and a board yeah see that see that it's not gonna make a 9.8 not at this point but 9.6 yeah we will take that we will take that you know what i'm gonna put the 9.6s on one side 9.4. Now I said we're going to give out a 9.2 or a 9.4. So this is a candidate to be given out. We'll see. We'll see how many we get. Um, a 9.2 or a 9.4, guys, goes out to you guys. You. You're the heroes. This is actually, oh, this is uh, Blue Marvel. Sorry, I forgot to mention. This is Blue Marvel no, uh, number two. So, no, you guys aren't getting this one. You're getting number one. Blue Marvel number two, as you guys saw, 12,000. 12,000 printed on this one. 9.4. We will take it. We will take it. Now, um, I think I bought that. I think that was part of... Um, one that I uh, bought a, a set of uh, for like a hundred and change or something like that. Why the Last Man? This came out a at a num uh, nine point six. This is Why the Last Man number two. I know there's not that many of these uh, out there. Also, Why the Last Man has got a cult following, pretty much. Um, I hope that gets. Um, option but it, it's it's got a cult cult following sim, similar to um to other books uh, by by uh, by vertigo like like preacher for example 
Thanos. Imperative 9.6. I think this is one that came from my collection. 9.6. I'll take that. This is the first appearance of the Annihilators. Doesn't say that there, but this is the first appearance of the Annihilators. This is for... This is for the... Um, for the near future, well, hopefully the near future, once the comics, the Cosmics uh, uh, hit. All right, you guys know what this is. This is a new stand, though. Off white to white. Oof. Okay, three thirty-seven, but a nine point six, in a new stand. Uh, with the 9.6 newsstands also, the best newsstand to have, of course, is the Canadian price variant. It's going to be 75 cents for that. And, um, uh, but this is not bad to have either, you know, for a 19, um, uh, 1983 book newsstands and, uh, Canadian price variants, uh, newsstands and the, uh, um, the, the regular direct covers are around 50-50. All right, back to the 9. 9.2. 9.2 Blue Marvel number 1. Back to the Blue Marvel number 1s, okay? Let's see what made this a 9.2. We're going to look at the, cut, uh, the corners again. I don't... I really hate the lighting over here. That corner looks much better. With this book, when you turn it over on the back, on that lime green back, you can see everything. Everything, everything. I think this was a little bit harsh, man, for the 9.2. Let's see the back. I mean, he pretty much got that blunt damage out. All right, let's see what made this a 9.2. I can't see a 9.2 yet. Hmm. Here comes a lime green. I can't see it, man. I can't seize it. That's pretty harsh. Hmm. 9.2 ish? Nah, I don't see a 9.2. Is that a rusty staple? No. Is it? Oh, maybe. How the hell is that rusty? I don't know if that's rust. Don't look right. Oh, yeah, maybe it is a 9.2. Yeah, see how nice and shiny that is? Look at that, dude. Yeah, something going on with that staple right there. All right, 9.2. 9.2. All right. So, two blue marbles. One, two, three, four. There's going to be one more straggler in there. 9.6. You know, if I keep getting 9.6s, I should be happy with them, right? The 9.6s. I think I'm going to try and go faster with these so that's a 9.6 some of these i th i got a feeling i'm gonna send some of these back man if i don't find too much with them i'm gonna i'm gonna probably send them back
yeah, like a book like this. Might send this book back and try and get a 9.8 on it. Send it to CCS this time. Um, but... Yeah, see those corners? He he did a great job, man. He did a great, great job. Mm. 9.6. Alright, let's go a little faster with these. 9.8. 9.8. First 9.8. See that? that? Oh man. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This looks better than the uh than the 9.8s that I bought. I bought two 9.8s for uh right around five hundred dollars each back uh back before I made that video uh in um in April. Even though I had these, but I wasn't, first of all, I wasn't, I wasn't aware that I had these 30. So these came as a complete surprise to me. I still haven't found the 10 that I knew that I bought from my, from my local comic shop. I still haven't found those. Next one, 9.6, man, I got a feeling I'm going to have a bunch of 9.6s here. A lot of 9.6s, and a lot of these are gonna. I'm I'm gonna be sending them out. Um, uh, I don't have enough time to look at every single one of these, but um, I'm gonna put the 9.6s in here. 9.6 and. So, so so far, three nine sixes. One nine point two. Let's go from the back to the front. Nine point six. Oh man, I got a feeling I got a harsh grader. I got a feeling I got me a harsh grader on this. Nine point six. Nine point six. Hmm. This one. Nine point oh. Oofa. Gets even worse. Let's go to. Well, worse. I mean, nine point six. I sh should be happy with nine point six. The way I treated those books. Yeah, there it is, right there. You see the blunt right there. That one did break color. That's why this main nine point four. So this is probably going to be the one of the ones that was towards the um, towards the front. Yeah, see it right there. So these are the ones that took the uh, brunt of the damage. The very first one was kind of bad, though. All right, so we we got a 9.2 and a 9.0 right here. So the next one, 9.6. Good news, good news, but ah, 9.6 again. Come on, baby, let's start putting some more in here, man. Come on, 9.6. This is oh, I'm the 9.6 king. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. This guy was definitely a harsh grader. No doubt about it.
That's where the damage would be, and I, I don't see it. They didn't really have um, spineware. Ah, oh, there it is right there. Just a little bit is enough to knock it down to a 9.6. Like I said, I've seen so many 9.8s with a lot worse than that. All right, we found one that was, this is probably the one that was in the front or in the back. This has to have some really bad, for to it to be a 6.5. Dude, this was a harsh grader, dude. Dude. Look at this. How the hell is this a 6.5? Okay, right there. But 6.5, I mean, really? That, does that warrant a 6.5 right there? I don't know about that. Oh, uh, some color rub. Uh, I'm sorry, man, but I, I can't see a 6.5 on this. I can't see a 6.5, maybe an 8.0. Um, something about the way that these overlap. I think it's the way that they make the, uh, see, look at that. That that looks, that looks really nice. That definitely doesn't look like a 6.5 to me. This is going to be sold, but man, whoever gets this, that's really not, that. that's not 6.5 material, dude. Maybe, I mean, at worst, I think that's an 8 just based on everything else from the book. I don't know. I don't know. There's no doubt I got it. I got, you know, every now and then you get a harsh guy. 9.6. This guy was just, he wasn't giving out 9.8s. All right, guys, I uh, ended up took, taking everything out. So I was getting a little frustrated with the 9.6. It's something I probably shouldn't do. I'm acting like a baby, really. But I was expecting more 9.8s. So this is how it looks like. I got 13 9.6s. These are all 9.6s. 13. Inspected. I inspected all of them. And most of them, I can't see much with them. Now, some of them, I can see definitely why they got the 9.6. But take, take a book like this, for example. I don't know how the heck this is a 9.6. Could have easily gave me a 9.8. That's the bag. He could have easily gave me a 9.8 on that. Um, I definitely got a harsh grader here, without a doubt. Which, look, it won't be the first time or the last time that I got a harsh grader. I've done very well with CGC. I really shouldn't be complaining about them, but. I think um, some of them are going to benefit from uh, maybe another pressing and I'm going to pick some of these out and send them back out to CCS this time though because I'm going to send them out to CCS. So Mr. Kendra got them to a 9.6 from me and I'm going to take a chance on not all of them because like I said some of them definitely I think deserve the 9.6 but at least half of these are going to go back to CCS and um, I'm going to try for the 9.8s on them uh, with a second pressing, which can benefit, uh, especially if I don't see anything wrong with them, you know. Um, so, 13 9.6s, of course, the travesty that is the 6.5. Man, dude, I want to do the hokey pokey on this dude. 
But, um, yeah. 9.0, one 9.0, two 9.2s, one 9.4. We're going to take that one out. And I only ended up, ended up I wanted four 9.8s is what I was shooting for. Ended up getting two 9.8s. So that brings my 9.8 total to the Blue Marvel for the Blue Marvel 2.4. And I have 11 at CCS right now and CGC. And those are the 10 of them were the best ones. And they should. I mean, I'm expecting minimum 6 to come back. 9.8s on those. Expecting expectations and reality are completely, uh, you know... It really uh, farce because the truth is uh, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know who you, who's going to grade them. You don't know if they're going to do a great job pressing them. <clears throat> but I sent them the best, um, the best bunch that I had out of the 30. I sent them 11 overall, but uh, the, the 11th one is definitely not a 9.8. Having said that. I said I was going to give out a 9.2 or a 9.4. I will give out the sole 9.4 <coughs> to a listener. And I am going to come up with something later on this week. And we're going to do it. Wilbert, I want you to participate. Okay. Um, the way I'm going to do it is, is the same way. I'm going to ask a question. It's probably going to be in two parts. I'll put out my email. Whoever wants to participate, whether you're a subscriber or not, just send me an email with your um, YouTube username, and uh, I'm gonna put that in a. Um, uh, I'll probably put it in a hat. I'm not fancy over here, man. I mean, you don't get to be fancy when you got 156 views, you know. But uh, I'll probably put them in a hat. And, um, and and we're going to raffle it off. Somebody's going to get this. 9.4, guys. 9.4. Very respectful. 9.4. And by the way, guys, whoever gets this 9.4, send it in. Send it to CCS. I am telling you. You see that right there? It can, it can definitely benefit from another press. Send it in in guys send it into ccs you can get a 9.6 on this there's no doubt in my mind you can get a 9.6 on this send it back in you're getting it for free anyway why not you know um i need a break and i got my break with these luckily i made that purchase for these 30 from um Lone Star Comics, which is my comic shop. That's going to be one of the questions, guys. That's going to be one of the questions. Just a hint. Just a hint. All right. Uh, besides those 20, this is a, a number two Blue Marvel that came out of the uh, 9.4. 338, second appearance of Better Ray Bill. That comes out in a 9.4. First appearance of Better Ray Bill. These, these were from the PC, guys. These were all from the PC. Um, except for that Adam Blue Marvel number two. I bought that in a set. Uh, this was from the PC 9.6. It is not going to stay in the PC, by the way, because I got a 9.6 Canadian now. So that one will be sold, but not yet. I'm gonna. Uh, there's a lot of rumors on him. Uh, being in Guardians of the Galaxy, probably we'll see if that happens or not, and then it'll get sold. Um, this one will not will not stay in the PC because I now have a 9.8, and that one will be in the PC, so that someone will be sold eventually. And um, this one's gonna get sold. This one's gonna get sold. Why the last man? I don't know how long I can wait on this. Uh, to get optioned or something like that so none of the blue marbles will be sold not yet 
Uh, we're going to wait for that character to really hopefully get something done with it, whether it's uh, in a movie or, or, or animated or maybe a series. Uh, there's different speculation on what's going to happen with him. Like I said before, I don't believe he's a spec character. He's more than that now. Uh, he does have a cult following right now. Um, and But he's not a household name. And he, in my opinion, will be a household name one day. All right. Guys wanted to find out what's happening with these books. Um, I am going to be emailing. Thanks to Mr. Kendra, I'm going to be emailing someone from CBCS about these. All right. Only because some of these signatures... Well, all of these signatures, I researched myself, right? And I compared them to other signatures made by uh, those creators, like Stan Lee and Len Wein and Rubenstein especially. I mean, why would you fake a Rubenstein signature? Why would you fake it? And if you have one that was witnessed and you compare it to this, I mean, it looks so identical, man. Len Wein, the same thing. So did they fail every single signature because they thought that Stan Lee was not authentic? It is Beckett that's doing the uh, authentication. But, um, yeah, I, man, I, I just don't get it. That's Claremont right there. You know, he signs like that. Get a Chris Claremont signature and compare that to that. It, it looks just like it. The Kirby. The Kirby was... It, it was really on point. Uh, I showed that. But... This is a massive, massive loss. On the books, it was over $700. I looked up the uh, prices that I paid for it. So, on the books itself, just raw books were $700. Plus the pressing and the cleaning... Plus the grading and the verification, even the failed verification you got to pay for for CBCS. It's over a thousand dollars for those five books, including pressing and the verification, the failed verification. So what does that mean? That means that's all loss. However, this right here... That's 20 books that I bought around the turn of the century that some of them are going to pay for mistakes like that. And, I, you know, I can't even think that does what, that was a mistake because I do believe that those are legit signatures. I do believe that. But you pay this company for a... Um, for verification and if they say they can't verify it, then maybe they're not legit, you know? So... It was a mistake. It's a loss. We'll see what this guy says. And um, and then we'll go with this. All right. Um, I will make another video. Oh, before that, let's do the numbers. All right, guys. Here's the numbers. So, shipping to Mr. Kendra was around $18. I just rounded it off. Clean press was $328. That's his fee to clean and press and to send it to CGC and the CGC fee is 467 for the grading and to send it back to me that's a total of $813 to get these babies slabbed divided by 25 books which is what I sent each book costs $32.52 to clean press and slab with all the shipping cost. Keep that in mind, all right? That number, 3252. Because that's going to be part of one of the questions. All right? All right, guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye. No, don't have a great night. Have a marvelous night. A blue marvelous night. Heh <laughs>